Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron Trace, and we're back here with a little trading video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over how I identify valid market structure shifts using medium-term highs, medium-term lows, short-term highs, and short-term lows. So I'm going to be doing two examples, two bag sets examples real quick. Won't be a long video, so let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. So for the first example, we're going to be going, to, going over a bullish example. Price is out of a discount. Price has been trading lower. Delivering sales out of the curve. So now I'm not interested to look for short positions because I don't chase shorts when it's already been going down like this. So I'm now looking to see if we can go for buy side of the curve. So we're going to be using the um, market replay tool. And real quick too, go to go through my YouTube channel. I've been doing this live. I've been doing this with real executions, making real money. Just go through my YouTube channel. Um, I don't do any cherry picking. I'm only doing this video like this because I was requested to. So first and foremost, guys, we're going to start here on um, using Wednesday's price action. So we're going to just get ready for New York session, which starts at 7 a.m. So I'm going to draw my, draw my line out here. 7 a.m. is where we're going to start engaging price to 12. So I'm going to draw a New York opening right here. So we're going to market replay. We're going to fast forward until we get to New York session. All right, so right here, guys, what do we have? We just had sales stocks taken during London session. Now, keep in mind, I'm not up during this time. I'm not looking at London session. I don't care about London session. I'm not looking at London session. The sales side did get taken, so let's see what happens. All right, so right here, guys, this is what I want to talk about right here. This is now where we get to the nitty gritty of this um, video. Immediate term highs and short term highs, right? So right here we got an immediate term high. Why is this a immediate term high? Because price went up and rebalanced an imbalance, right? We had a fat value gap here that got rebalanced or a imbalance candle that got rebalanced. Once price rebalances these candles like this, we should not see them broken if we're bearish. So I'm gonna mark this off as an immediate term high. All right, so we got a immediate term high right here. Once again, why is this a immediate term high run? Like I say, guys, if you watch ICT Mentorship 12 video, VIP, I'm sorry, guys, if you watch ICT Mentorship 12 video, you will already understand, you know, know that answer to that question. Every time we rebalance the fat rally gaps, you know, displacement counts like this, and they get rebalanced, we do not want to see these broken if we're going to continue to trend. What's the trend right now? Bearish. So if we're bearish, we want to see price respect right here and continue moving away. Let's see what happens. Price moves away. We're now doing New York session. So now I'm on my chart. So I'm coming to my charts with a mindset that hey, we're in a discount. We took out sales stocks and we got in and we got a immediate term high resting here. Let's wait and be patient for price to break it, break this immediate term high. Let's see what happens. Price breaks the immediate term high, but let's wait for a close above. Boom. Close above right here is going to be an MS shift. So we can change it right here to a market structure shift. Why, Ron? Why is this an MS shift? What did I just say? Every time that we rebalance a, um, every time that we, every time that we rebalance a fat value gap or a displacement kind of like this, and we're looking for price to, you know, continue to keep going pro trend, we don't want to see this broken. So in this instance right here, pro trend is what? Bearish. So if we were bearish, we would have stopped right here. We would have stopped right here at this bearish 15 minute order block and continue to keep going down. Why do we go back? Why do we go above and close at 915? Because we're not bearish. Prices already been delivering lower prices. It's now time to go for what? Buy side of the curve. It's gonna be an MS shift. What's my next rule? So let's go over the rules real quick. I don't want to confuse no one. We have sales stops taken during London session. First check off. What's your second check off, Ron? Wait for a immediate term high or a short or a short term high to present itself. In this instance here, we had a, um, a medium term high present itself. Price went, went back up and rebalanced this February gap candle and imba balance candle here. It got rebalanced and moved away. So after it's moving away right here at 7:45, I'm waiting on my hands to see it, see if it get broke. And guess what? What if it don't get broke? Well, guess what? I'm not taking a trade. I'm gonna sit on my hands to, into next session. It got broke at 9:15. It's gonna be an MS shift. All right then, Ron. All that happened. What's your next rule? Start hunting 
Fat Rider Gaps, OTEs, and Order Blocks. So you could have used Ultimate Trade Entry right here, drawing your fear from this um, last candle right here, all the way up to this wick. And let's fast forward. So you have to go here a little bit too. So you continue to keep drawing your fib up. Price comes right here to the 62 level. Sweet spot. 62. At what time? What time now? What time does this entry get hit? 1030. What's what's that hour is? Silver bullet. Time and price. Entry will be here at 62. Stop goes at, at um, below this order block. So that's about a 12.2. And like I say, I do one to twos. I don't know about everybody else, but I do one to twos. One to two would have been booked right here off this, off this first candle easily. Let's see if it goes for a one to three. One to three would have been pierced, looks like. So one to three would have been played around right here, depending on how you drew your film and your entry. But one to two would have been booked easily, and that's exactly what I look for every single time. So this is going to be my bullish example right here. So once again, guys, we had stock run, price cameras out of a discount. Let me do this right here at the chart. So once again, we had stock run, price cameras out of a discount market. Well, the imbalance, they got rebalance, moved away. Once we break through it at 930, it's going to be a market shift. Price will trade spread down inside of a 15-minute order block and an optimal trade entry level. So you could have got a nice, easy scalp off this going against the bias and looking to fade anyone that's short. So it's going to be my bullish example. And let's go to the short ratio. All right, guys. So right here, we're going to have our sale example. Price is inside of a premium market. We're going to be doing the back test replay tool here. The same exact thing. So let's go ahead and speed it right up. We're going to go ahead and mark out New York opening price, which starts at 7 a.m. So 7 a.m. to 12. It's going to be our entry time. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. <clears throat> All right, so that's London session. Okay, I just seen something. What do you see right here? This still is London session. But what did London just do? London ran up and took our buy side. So we had buy side taken during London session. So what do we wait for at the buy side liquidity is taken? We want to see a short term low or a medium term low get broken. So let's wait patiently for that to happen. What's this right here? What do we have, guys? Right here at 6 a.m. Imbalance. They got rebalance. Right here is going to be my short term low. We had a short term low right here. So let's wait for it to get broke with displacement. We now have a market structure shift, guys. We had a shift to market structure right here at 7.30 a.m. So right at New York Open, we had a shift to market structure. After buy side liquidity has been taken. And we are in a premium market. So that's three confirmations. Buy side taken in the premium market. And we had an imbalance. They got rebalanced. It got broken. What did I say in the bullish example? We don't want to see that. If I'm bullish, I don't want to see that. I want to see if I can keep going up. We have a nice order block here. You know, support. I don't want to see those things broken if I'm bullish. Are we bullish? No. So we're going to simply wait, wait for price to come back up inside of a disc, uh, um, premium array. So we can start drawing our OTE field from here. This low is right here. Let's see if we get an entry right here. So draw my field from this high to this low. And let's see if we can get an entry. We get field. We get field right here. And price, our first target, our the most obvious target, guys, should be here. I know it's hindsight. I know it's, oh, it's hindsight. Yes, it's just like I say, guys, just go back through my YouTube channel. And you'll see these are the exact same trades. The, all these trades look the exact same as my YouTube videos. So right here, we got sales out liquidity. And this should obviously be our first target before we take off anything got the trade. It should be right here, sell side. So once, first and foremost, what do we have? We have buy side taken and we're in the premium market. We had an imbalance here at 5 a.m. Imbalance. Fat value you got? It got rebalanced. What's that? Short term low. Do we break short term lows and the medium term lows if we're bullish? Mm -mm. So why did they get broken right here at 745? Because we're not bullish. Price trades down. We don't chase it. We draw a field and we wait for price to retrace back up. 
What time does it retrace? 9.30? Where does it retrace? To the OTE. You get 62 field, 71 50 field, and you get the best of the best of 79 entry field. And if you don't use the OTE, what the price come back up inside of? What's this last up close counter right here? Order block. So you got two confirmation drills to get in right here. Price returns back up to our entry drills. Whichever one you use, 15 minute order block or the OTE, you just get inside of the trade. We don't close our trade out until the sell side is taken. Where is sell side, Ron? Off this low. Just simply off this low. Take profit hit. Now, I'm being, like I say, I don't cherry pick nothing. I would have used the 62 right here. That's what I would have used. I would have used the 62. I would have not used the 750 or 79. I would have not did that in real time. I would have used the 62. So none of that cherry picking stuff. Are these guys get up here and try to get the best of the best entry? No, I got the 62. Price trades down for what? A one to three. Simple. So this is gonna be my sale example right here, guys. Like I say, price ran by side in the premium. We had an imbalance. They got a rebalance. It's gonna be a short term low. Got broken. We trace back up inside of our um, entry drill, OTE or 15 minute order block for our um, entries. Like I say, guys, please, please, please take into consideration that short term lows and immediate term lows are very, very, very important. I hope this video gave you a better insight on it. If it didn't, that's okay. Everyone won't catch on to it. Um, but like I say, guys, please go watch ICT Mentor Show 12 video. If you didn't understand it from me, you know, there's other guys on YouTube that is explaining it very, very, very well. Um, ICT Mentorship 12 video is probably the best one out there. Well, not even probably. It is the best one out there. So, like I said, hopefully this video helped, guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. And remember, imbalances that get rebalanced should not be broken if you're bullish or bearish. Be safe.